We're taking a look at Antix Linux. Antix Linux is a lightweight and easy to use systemd free Linux live CD distribution based on Debian Stable. For Intel AMD x86 compatible systems, Antix offers users the Antix magic in an environment suitable for older and new computers. So don't throw away your old computer yet. The goal of Antix is to provide a light but fully functional and flexible free operating system for both newcomers and experienced users of Linux. It should run on most computers ranging from 256 megabytes old systems with pre-configured swap to the latest powerful boxes. 256 megabyte RAM is the recommended minimum of Antix. Of a Antix installation to a hard drive requires a minimum five gigabytes hard disk space. Antix can also be used as a fast booting rescue CD and works extremely well running live with or without persistence on a USB stick or frugal on a hard drive. And I'll go into a little bit about the persistency and show it in there later. Customize your own version with the live remaster tools or create snapshots of an installed system. So like um, MX Linux, it allows you to uh, make changes to and save a live system to the hard drive. Now, both Antix and MX Linux have history. Uh, they are both, how do you say, uh, spawned from Meepus. In a way. <laughs> Anywho. Rolling right along. Okay, here we are. I'm going to go ahead and choose the modern kernel. You can choose modern or legacy. If you're having issues with one, try the other. I'm going to do normal boot. Okay, let's fix the settings here. Thirteen sixty by seven sixty eight is my resolution. Forgot the dash S. Yes. Okay. Well, this is just temporary in that. Now this is the Antix desktop that you first see. Um Yes, it looks kind of dated and old, but look at the RAM usage. 141 megabytes. Uh, we can install HTOP real fast. This is a uh, Debian based distribution. So apt is the package manager. And you can install stuff in the live environment. Uh, hmm. Demo. Okay, 142. That's with the window open. So that's not bad at all. So there's a little bit of discrepancy between Zakonki and the uh, what HTOP is reporting, but it's always off in the VM. So we're going to go ahead and install this in the VM. I always check. The 
What I don't tell you guys is I always check this stuff out on on hardware later or before. It all depends on, you know, what mood I'm in, whether I want to try it out on the hardware first or the VM first. This time I'm checking out the VM first, and then I'm going to take it over to the Streambook and check out the live environment on that if I like how it how it operates and feels. Then I install it, uninstall it, on to the next one. But I'm looking for a lightweight Linux distribution for research, so which whatever I choose is going to be on there for a while, at least for another six months, like I did with Bodhi Linux. Bodhi was really good. I I regretted un uninstalling Bodhi. All right, and this is their installer. I'm not sure what kind of installer this is. Let me pause it and see if I can find out what the installer is. Okay, it's called Mantis, but it is okay on the web page. It's M A N T I X Mantis. So it's pronounced Mantis, and the reason they chose Mantix or Mantis with that spelling is because there was already software with Mantis with the regular spelling on it. So, okay. Anyways, moving right along. Uh, general instructions. Before proceeding, close all other applications on each page. Please Remember, the software is provided as is. Okay. Standard uh, Linux stuff. Antix Linux is an independent Linux distribution based on Debian. <clears throat> Debian stable. Antix Linux uses some components from Meepus Linux. Which is no longer around. I actually tried and run that. I tried and ran that when it was out and about and popular. It wasn't bad. Um, the only problem is they tried to be too too Windows like. Um, anyways, uh, that was a, that was the only drawback for it. Uh, Me percentage. Linux, which are released under an Apache free license. Some Meepus components have been modified for Antix Linux. Now, Antix and MX Linux are tied together through Meepus. And I believe one of the developers does Antix and one of the other developers does MX Linux. I think. Don't quote me on that. Go ahead and click next. Uh, home page slider. I don't see home piece. Huh. Use. I don't see a slider. Huh. Okay, anyways. Let's go up there. Quick and dirty, easy, easy way of doing it. Yep, format that sucker. Um, now you can add it to any domain, but I'm going to change this to. Tux domain, <laughs> I guess, I don't know. Go ahead and click next. Um, system clock uses local time. Click next. Whoa, click back. We're not anywhere near New York City. New York City. Because I need to go up. There we are. Click next when you find your location or the closest one to you. This is almost like the Cal Calamaris installer. I mean, it's a similar format. Um, default password. Make sure it's strong and nobody can, you know, hack it. 
all that good stuff. Um, we don't need that. I want that locked out. Don't need to auto log in. Save like, save like desktop changes. Ah, so it's kind of got a light per. Uh, that's right, it's got light persistency in this. Um, we'll check. We'll check that out later. Moving right along. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> if Edix Linux, oh, this is going by too fast. Adjust your sound mixer. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pause it. It's going to by too fast. I can't read it for you. Okay, she's done, and we're going to reboot her. And we'll be right back. Okay. And that was the splash screen, by the way. Boot splash. It's going to take a couple seconds. Whoa. Okay. Type in your name. Hit enter to get down to the next one. Enter again. Right, let's fix that. Resolution again. Okay. Now the reason I did this because I wanted to poke around a little bit or on the ice window manager um, control center desktop software system network shares session disk hardware drivers maintenance choose wallpaper at ice WM settings background it's all locked out icon theme hmm yeah well why not use that one okay customize the look and feel There we go. That's a little better. Doesn't change the the bar down below. Okay, anyways, I wanted to switch desktop environments and because it comes with two desktop environments. I just gotta remember where it's at. Other desktop. Okay, so here's the rocks flux box. And with this corrected itself. You right click anywhere on the desktop and your menu comes up. Workspaces, styles, now you can change the way it looks, you know. I like that better. We'll leave it like that. Okay. We're going to update this thing because it needs to be updated. Because there's some updates to the desktop environment. 
sudo apt update and sudo apt update and and or amper amper sudo apt and sudo upgrade one two three that's the uh, safest password ever and we'll be back when this is done and then we got to reboot okay major upgrades go ahead and click OK or yes on there and we'll be back when she's done okay like I said it was having major updates um basically uh, you just click Y if you want the maintainers uh, updates if you don't you click no um, but this screen right here is grub dash PC it's the bootloader you want to hit the uh, space bar and then just tab over to OK and then and enter and that'll set that up for you we'll be back in a couple minutes on the next step and like I said before before the grub PC I had a uh, similar screen with this and these updates are for the desktop environments and other security updates and local updates so I would just keep clicking yes now sometimes you want to click no if you have a customized the way you want it and it's like a desktop environment that you like the way it's set up but since this is a fresh install and I know there's a massive a bunch of amount, amount of uh, updates for the desktops or the window managers rather I'm going to keep clicking yes so there you've got ISWM, Flixbox and JWM okay now we have to reboot and I'll be right back okay she's loading up and we're back in the login window or login manager can't remember the name of this login manager oh man I'll have to look it up okay it appears it's slim that's right so hit enter so we get on the screen gotta fix our resolution and I need to put my ah put my glasses on so I can see what I, I'm doing okay close this out control center styles back to the way it was other desktops let's go to JWM white we're on white 
Sunny day. Shades of gray. Red. Pretty pink. Um, military? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Um, copper? No. Let's go with something I know is gonna. There's blue day. Seems like the one of the better ones. And let's try blackout. Control center again. Alright, let's go through the control center. Wallpapers. Let's see what kind of wallpapers we got. Select picture. Flat. Lost your marbles. Found lost marble. <laughs> Leaf hanging. Pylons, space, sunflower. Uh, I feel like I lost my marbles. Let's do that one. Close that out. Minimize that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like that. Okay, maximize this back out. So we got wallpapers that is the ISWM, JWM, set your font, customize look and feel, and want to add dark, uh, mark darker. Ooh. No. Let's stick with dark darker. And water dark, I mean. Oh, edit flex box settings. Click on that one. Oh, this is. This is pretty understandable, actually. I'm not a window manager guy, but looking at uh, MySQL databases and HTML and then coding that by hand <laughs> comes in handy sometimes. <laughs> okay. Software. Antics updater. Do I have any updates? Shouldn't. I just updated it. Go ahead and pause that while I'm thinking about it. Okay. Automatic update, manual update. Uh, full control of the update process, but may require you to make some choices. Eh, let's do automatic update. And we'll pause for that. It changed the coloration a little bit. Again, ah, back up there. A little bit. Okay. Um, package installer. Got Spotify, QMMP, Pulse Audio. Pythos, Muse Score, MPD Music Player, Damien, Dead Beef, Audacity, Audacious. Um, desktop environment. So you've got more desktop environments in here like uh, Sparky Linux does. Budgie, Cinnamon, Cinnamon Standard, F10 Transformation.
Gnome, Gnome Cork, 85, X XCE, yeah, let's take that one. And we don't need any of that. File managers, got the rocks filer. And we'll just leave it with that. Ooh, there's a bunch of games. Oh, you can add Steam in here too. Cool. Blender. Gimp. Icons. Let's get all the icons. Okay, while that's doing this thing, we'll just keep on going. Okay, this is for your repos. Manage packages this is what you already have installed. Antics updater, Antics auto remove. System. You can choose your startup services. Altern alternatives configuration, or configurator. Edit config files. Um, if you're kind of new. Um, yeah, let's take a look at it and see how difficult that is. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Okay. This is your various list, your Debian's list. Stables. Updates list for Debian, Bullseye backports, and Antics list. Got the non freeze right here. So if you need something, some drivers or something, and you get installed and you're still having issues, this would probably be the config file that you'd want to get into and modify. All right, you can set your date and time, system keyboard and layout, to network, has Wi-Fi built into it, um, network interfaces, ADSL, PPPoE configuration, dial-up configuration, known PPP, WPA supplicant configuration, and ad block. Um, Yeah, I guess there's sections in the world that still need these two right here. It's been a while since I've had to mess with these two. The dial-up and the ADSL. Um, it's good that they include that so people have still have the option that are on slower, uh, slower networks to connect. So um, Shares. Connect shares configuration. Droopy file sharing. Oh, let's check out Droopy. Copy that out. Click on the web browser. It's Firefox. Okay, cool. Paste and go. Oh, cool. It's your personal, uh, that's awesome. So you can set up all your files. I mean, come here, like on your phone, your phone's getting bloated or something like that. You navigate to this IP, to your, uh, IP address of your machine, put in the port number, and then you can upload your files and store your files locally. That's a nice touch. I like that. Close that out. Close this out. Um, session. Set screen resolution. Set grub boot image. Login manager. Okay. Now this 
You can select the theme on there. Um, click that. You can test the theme. That's what it looks like when you go to log in. Uh, just mixer. Oh, this is the old awesome mixer. I would recommend uh, updating to Pulse Audio. And if you got NVIDIA and maintenance. ISO snapshot. Hmm. So you can make a snapshot of your system. Well, I'll mess around with that later. Okay, menu. Where to do the control center, other desktops. <clears throat> All your desktops, rocks panel on off. That puts on the top panel on the top. Turn your conky on and off. Applications. Oh, Android, Anti-X. There's a bunch in here. User manager, backlight, brightness, change Wi-Fi, Chirrut, rescue scan, Cli app-based package manager, command line control center, configure data, Configure persistence. That's for uh, your USB. You have it on a USB stick. A time format USB, ISWM toolbar icon manager, ISO snapshot, live USB kernel updater, uh, live USB maker, login manager, personal menu editor, remaster, save, persistent changes, setup persistency. User language, yeah, color, archive manager, calcurs, cherry tree, clip it, fire gel for your firewall, calculator for your calculator, leaf pad for your notepad, uh, midnight commander, RXVT color and encode, search monkey, XF burn if you got a DVD or CD player. And a radio, games, DOS box simulator, Mahjong, graphics, document scanner, GTK, GT Cam, digital camera browser, LibreOffice, Mirage, MT Paint graphic editor, screenshot, internet, you got Cine, and I don't know what that is. One, two, Huh, won't let me in. That's probably why you need the root account. Okay. Clause mail, connect shares, connect shares configuration, conman UI setup, that's pretty Bluetooth, Thilo, disconnect shares, Droopy, Firefox, GFTP, GNOME app, Hexchat, line, Links 2, Sockets 3G, Search Bar. Internet Search. I didn't know what that was, so I figured to give it a, give it a look-see. Um, transmission and WPA GUI. Okay. Um, Leader Office, QPDF View, References, and there's a bunch of them. It's got ad block in here. Um, another Bluetooth manager, configure auto mount, UI setup, customized look and feel, menu manager, mouse. <clears throat> Print settings, QT5 settings, remove menu items, screen light. 
Set font DPS and haptic packet manager, system keyboard, user language and wallpapers, programming. They got Genie or Genie and Vim dot tiny system. There's a bunch of system stuff. Stop. Apps like boot repair, choose startup services, control center, disk manager, fire tools, cheap parted. Gear sync, H top, lucky backup, lucky backup a super user. So they got a few different ways you can um, back up your system there. Network assistance, package banner, package installer, PC information, repo manager, root terminal, rocks file, rocks filers, root, rocks term, task manager, ZZ and ZFM. Uh, personal menu help video. App select, editor, web browser, file manager. And in the dark mode, it's very hard to see the, the words. Okay. Close that out. And up on top. Applications and again, you can't see the words in this theme. And your control center, file manager, and your browser, and your logout. Alrighty, well, that's antics, and we are still using. Well, right now we're using 494 megabytes. Let's uh, reboot and see what it looks like again. And on a reboot, we're using 160 megabytes. So that's really lightweight. Now, Tiny Core is another distribution that even goes lower than this. But personally, I wouldn't go any lower than what Antics has because then you sacrifice um, at least a little bit of eye candy and, well, not, I wouldn't say functionality, but apps. You're dealing with old, uh, older apps and stuff like that. So, well, not older apps, lightweight apps that don't have a wide range of functionality. Anywho, this is Antics Linux. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time.